Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Today we are going to use a DMX standalone player in a simple DMX setup. If you haven't already checked it out, please watch our How to Set Up a DMX System video first. If you have watched it, this is a natural building block on that. We're going to replace the wall controller with a standalone player. So first we're going to disconnect the power. These are the additional products you need for this installation. They are listed in the description. First, let's hook up the signal cable to the DMX decoder and back to the standalone player. The standalone player comes with a USB cable that you want to connect to the player and plug it into the USB port on your computer. You also want to reconnect the power to the DMX decoders at this time. We have our power supply, which is connected to our decoder's power input. We have our signal, which is from our computer to our standalone player via a USB cable. And then from the standalone player to the DMX decoders via the special cable. And then finally, the signal cable runs daisy chain to the second decoder. And our load, which is our strip lights, which are connected to the output of the DMX decoders. Make sure you hook up the USB cable to the computer before you load the program. You need to download and install the ASA2 program on your computer to do this. The link is in the description. So let's go ahead and open that program. And when it's loading here, it will give you three options. And I'll show you why you have to have that cable hooked up first. If you don't, when it pulls up the options here, It'll automatically select demo, but we want to use USB to do what we're doing. So choose USB and choose OK. We're going to click over here where it says scan library and we're going to choose generic. And you want to scroll down. We're using RGBW strips. So we're going to scroll down until we find RGBW. We're going to click that. And as you look right here, it says patch universe one and it's one, two, three, and four. That's going to be our first DMX decoder. Now we want to repeat that because we have a second zone, if you remember. We're going to put that right here. So now we have both DMX decoders called out here, patch to one and patch to five. Now, if we go over here and you have your lights on, you can look and you can see that as I pull up the red line, the first decoder's red lights come up. Click, click. Now I'm going to pull up the green line on the second decoder. And as you can see, the lights pull up and you have control over the lights from the standalone program. Let's make this a cyan, a white. Now these are RGBW strips. So if I pull up this, we have the dedicated white chip. Let's turn off these channels. Put this one on, turn off this one. Now we have our white chips on. You can play around with mixing these colors, which is all fine and good. You have some control. Let's make a cyan color. You get the idea. Now, this is all great. You want to make something called a scene to store these different color concoctions that you make. To do that, you go to editor and we're going to make a new scene. So see right here where it says new scene. We want to start out with the color red. So let's adjust these to be red. So red for our first scene. Now if you go over here to steps, we're going to add a step. So click new for one second. We're going to have everything be red. For the second second, we're going to make it go red and white. Now for the third second, we're just going to make it go all white. And then for the fourth second, we're going to make the second one turn red. You get the idea. Now we've made four steps. We're going to play this back and watch what the strips do in reaction. Pretty cool. Okay, that's a simple program that we wrote. 
Now we want to make it so that we can actually use this standalone player by itself. To do that, all you do is you go to standalone. We're going to click write memory. It says we've written the memory successfully. And now if we click test, or we can just disconnect the USB cable and watch what these strips do. Now that we've written a show to the standalone player, we're going to remove the USB from the computer and hook it into a USB power supply and plug this into an outlet. Reconnect the power to the USB. When you do this, the standalone player will re-energize and start playing back the program indefinitely. This is just a simple program. There are lots of more things you can do with it. For more helpful videos, please like and subscribe.